It's a job commonly associated with stress, and many would believe there's good reason for that. It's a position that manages the movements of hundreds and possibly thousands of aircraft each and every day, ensuring they all experience a safe and prompt journey throughout Canadian airspace. That is approved to be in west of the uh, airport at all times. Let me know when you're established in the area that you're going to be working. For those in the tower at the Kelowna International Airport, this perceived stress is minimal, something that fades away following the intense training they receive through NAV Canada. It's a program that ensures all graduates are fully fluent in the proper language, which is the main link to ensuring safety both on the ground and in the air. You're so well trained that it, it almost becomes easy to you. Um, the difficult part is going through the school, all the book work that you have to do, the memorization, the tests that they put you through, and, uh, and the simulation. It's, uh, that's probably more stressful than doing the job now. As a pilot, you've trained and, and understand and incorporated that phraseology into your, your communications, and we reciprocate with similar phraseology then there's an anticipation of what the message is going to be, how it's going to be framed, and the communication is much clearer. In 1996, Nav Canada became the world's first fully privatized civil air navigation service provider, taking over many of the airport towers across the country from Transport Canada Aviation. In the Kelowna Tower, there are two operators on at one time with ground control and tower control. Today, Jeff is working ground control. That aircraft will call me on ground, I'll give him his clearance. Then he'll call me for pushback, I authorize that, and then he'll call me for taxi. So I move him along the airport until he gets to the uh, takeoff position where I hand him over to the tower, and then the tower guy puts him into the air safely with any other aircraft that might be in the area, separates them, and then we hand him off to uh, the area control center in Vancouver. You know where your traffic is out there because of not only radar, but wide area multilateration and some of the new technologies that have come in to fill in the gaps. Um, it just uh, reduces your stress level because you know where your traffic is now. Although the Kelowna International Airport is ranked within the busiest airports in Canada, that doesn't necessarily equate to an increase in air traffic for controllers. We're somewhere around 76,000 or so movements a year which is roughly 200 movements a day. But those aircraft that are coming in are full of people, right? The load factors are very high. So we get a lot of throughput of passengers without a, a huge, tremendous uh, increase in traffic. Having worked in control towers in major centers, Jeff says, as with any job, the stress levels are relative to your capabilities. Even though you may be dealing with an increased level of traffic, the more confident you are within your job, the less stress you'll have. For more information on NAV Canada and the work they do across the country, you can visit navcanada.ca. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.